Hi, I'm Jean Fiorini, and thank you for being here at the Tarot Tips. Today we have another true tale from the tarot, uh, an actual experience or combination of cards that came out as a client asked a specific question. Um, the thing I like about this particular example is that it really speaks to how the tarot can speak to us, how the tarot can communicate to us and how what it what the tarot might offer us um, the in this example it's almost like with the question that the person that we asked for this person um, the tarot was almost holding out its hand saying here's the gift are you going to take it uh, so let's go uh, to the table. Let's see what we see. I'll give you a little uh, background of the um, of the question when we get to the tarot table. The scenario here is that a woman in her 70s has a niece who is in her 40s who has gotten very inspired and interested and enthusiastic about the tarot. Uh, she's been sharing some of her uh, learnings with her aunt, uh, the woman in her 70s. And um, for Christmas, the younger woman gave the older woman a deck of tarot cards. And the woman is enjoying them, but she also feels a little bit like she's trying to learn a new language, which of course she is. Um, so after we ask a few really concrete questions, she had questions about her house and she had questions about her family, really kind of, um, you know, everyday matters. Um, we were nearing the end of the session and she had a little bit of extra time and we, we said, well, what, is there something else you'd like to ask? Well, no, she couldn't think of anything. Uh, that was pretty much all she, she had on her mind. So her niece, the younger woman, says, how about we ask what the tarot might have in store for you? What, why, why did I give you these cards and what might be either a learning or the benefit of them for you? We all decide that's a pretty good question and we pull these three cards. So what does the tarot, uh, what's the tarot doing in this 70 year old's um, hands. Knight of Cups, Hangman, Temperance. Now, technically the Temperance is ruled by Sagittarius. Technically that's a fire card. Uh, and it is, so if we think about Sagittarius, you know, one of the key words there is uh, exploration, going on new journeys, uh, taking yourself into new worlds, um, having new experiences. Um, given that, we really can't get away from the fact that temperance has a lot of water in it, visually. The hangman is a, is a huge mother card of water in the tarot. So this is associated with Neptune, big, big water card. We start with this nice, gentle Knight of Cups, Knight of Water, taking the winding path, aiming right toward these two major arcana cards. Water, water, new adventures, connecting this older woman to uh, a new pool, if you will. Well, the short story here is the tarot is inviting her to go into her heart, into her intuition, into her inner realm and still her mind and see what there is to learn about being in that inner plane. Well, I said something like that to her and she started laughing. Well, that's not who I am. <laughs> I'm a person who likes to know what I'm doing. I'm a person who likes to plan things I'm a person who likes to be organized and this kind of wishy-washy stuff makes me a little uncomfortable. And I said, well, then that's perfect because 
here somebody gave you a tool to practice and learn about a whole other side of yourself. She has probably spent 70 years being organized, uh, in charge, uh, rational about her, her choices. Her niece kind of probably intuitively knows that this woman has a whole lot more to her underneath the surface, if you will, or, you know, there's uh, still waters run deep kind of a thing. So the younger person really has given this older person an opportunity to explore her intuition, the process of unfolding knowing, if you want to put it that way, um, to, as one of my tarot students recently said, to sit, pause, and listen. How often do we do that? Sit, pause, and listen. Even if it's as simple as that, that's what the tarot is offering to this woman. I thought that with um, the, the number of cards she could have pulled with that question, um, that these were very poignant, they were very much expressing an emotional and a, almost, a, well, not almost, a spiritual opportunity to this woman who has spent most of her life uh, on the rational end of things, the linear rational end of things, and that this is a chance for her to explore a whole other aspect of herself. Consistent message across the board, let alone the visual here about go slow, go in a way that's comfortable for you, be still, quiet your mind, hang up all your preconceived notions and take a little dip in this new pool of experience here. Very beautiful response from the tarot there, I thought. So thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.